I'm Mary Ann Moser. I'm the director of the Banff Science Communication Program and also communications director for the Schulich School of Engineering. The idea that we've been cooking up is called Beakerhead, and it's a cultural experiment. I'm not using the word festival on purpose. It's a, it's a week-long experiment that's fully participatory, that engages Calgarians, or all of Albertans eventually, but to start with Calgarians in a, a collision of art and engineering. It's proposed for the fall of September, uh, the fall of 2012. The exact dates haven't been pinned down, and we were, we'll lead up to that. I mean, that's a few years that we'll lead up to that with some programming so people can get a taste of what, it's involved, what it involves. Because what we're planning um, is, a, is a difficult thing for people to envision, in part because it doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. It's a, it, it'll have a huge spectacle component. You know, we're looking at things like the Sultan's Elephant in, in London, which was a giant three-day theater spectacle on the streets of London with, with cranes operated by hundreds of volunteers telling the story over the course of three days. A million people turned out and were bowled over by it. So we're, we're planning for each Beakerhead event to have a major art and engineering spectacular centerpiece or flagship. Uh, and then around that there will be all kinds of other programming where Calgarians can get involved. They can make sculptures that they race. They can get involved in a robot fashion show, or a wearable computer, a wearable computing fashion show, or a robot talent show, or robot dance lessons. You know, there could be science on the streets, busking, science where you least expect it. Or, you know, little introductions to engineering where you wouldn't normally encounter it. That, that's the whole idea. Beakerhead is it's about uh, the place where art and engineering collide. It's very ripe for creativity, that whole terrain where the two meet. Um, and in that terrain, Calgarians hopefully will be able to uh, roll up their sleeves and get involved. I think the buy-in comes from the awareness that the the cultural topsoil is quite thin. We don't have deep roots. We don't have deep community engaged, um, industry engaged roots and culture. So, um, so the appeal of something like this is that it is a big and um, ambitious project that would put down roots. It would create some kind of a um, authenticity for being a vibrant 21st century city. Um, and it engages the engineering sector. It's a huge part of what we are as a city. We are the engineering capital of Canada, by which, which simply means we have the highest concentration of engineers in Calgary than any other city of this size. Um, so it's a huge part of what we are. It's a huge part of our economic vitality. And it's, but there's an enormous number of families who are putting down stakes here. And the last thing we want to do is have a fragile cultural ecosystem where um, in the next economic downturn, maybe we're in it now, uh, you know, people will move off and away and, and leave this uh, shallow city again. And I think nobody wants us to be a shallow city. We're all here trying to do really great and interesting projects.